Aloha everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review the movie Aloha. So Aloha is directed by Cameron Crowe and the film stars Bradley Cooper, Emma Stone, Rachel McAdams, Bill Murray, John Krasinski, Danny McBride, and Alec Baldwin. So Aloha is about this military contractor played by Bradley Cooper who starts to fall for this Air Force watchdog played by Emma Stone. She's in charge of watching over Bradley Cooper and of course like I said they fall in love and while Bradley Cooper starts to have a new love interest he starts to reconnect with his past love interest played by Rachel McAdams. So going into Aloha, I know I'm probably one of the few people to be very, very excited for this movie. I love Cameron Crowe. I, I've only seen Jerry Maguire and We Bought a Zoo, but with those two films, I just thought they were so good. And it had so much potential with a great filmmaker and a great cast. Unfortunately, Aloha was a huge disappointment. First of all, when the movie starts off, it gets so awkward. It's so bumpy for the first 20 to 25 minutes of the movie. It just felt so disjointed, so messy. From the very beginning, the film already felt lost. I was really cringing at how this movie started. I was just like, oh man, please get better from here. And it does... Um, kind of, because in the large middle portion of the movie, that's when I could say it's hit and miss. Now, some moments in the middle portion of Aloha gave me that greatness of Cameron Crowe. But then there's other moments in the middle portion where the dialogue was very cringeworthy. Um, the moment just didn't feel compelling and it just felt very off. Now, although the script for Aloha really is pretty messy, it is a pretty jumbled script, the cast does do a really good job with their performances. I don't know if all of them are used to their potential, like Bill Murray, really good in this movie, but he was totally wasted. Danny McBride, I'm not a fan of Danny McBride, but I actually really liked him here. There wasn't really much that, that they did with his character, however, but he was actually really well done. John Krasinski, also pretty wasted with this movie. He, he certainly has his good moments, but I didn't feel like they did enough with him. He still did a very good job. So whether the actors were used to their full potential or not, each of them still gave very good performances. It really wasn't bad performance wise, at least in my humble opinion. The other thing about Aloha is that it is shot so beautifully. A lot of the shots in Hawaii, it just looks so beautiful and it really felt like you're transported into Hawaii because of this really fascinating filming style that Cameron Crowe has. I also think the music in Aloha sounds fantastic. It flows really well. It sounded so beautiful. Despite how a lot of the scenes were executed in Aloha, the music was one thing that kept the movie flowing. And the best moments by far in this movie are the moments between Bradley Cooper and Rachel McAdams. Those scenes I felt were the strongest character moments. Those were the scenes that scream wow. These are the Cameron Crowe moments that I've come to love and I've come to expect from this movie. There's not enough of those moments unfortunately in Aloha, but when there are those moments, it's very well done and I did really like that. And I do gotta say, when we reach to the third act of Aloha, the third act was very touching, it was very moving, it was uplifting, it was beautiful. And I actually did get watery eye at the end. The third act is by far what I was hoping Aloha would be. The third act, the final 25 minutes, literally gave me everything I could have ever hoped for from Aloha. It was fantastic. And man, when it gets to the final scene of this movie, I really did want to cry because it was that powerful but unfortunately a beautiful third act 
cannot save some of the very off-putting moments in the middle portion and the entire first act pretty much. Because other than the first act feeling really bumpy, some of the dialogue in this movie is so off-putting and so weird. And I'm kind of watching this movie going, what made Cameron Crowe want to really say those lines? Or what made him want to talk about this? Because, do you know, they're talking about some weird Hawaiian stuff. And which, that's cool, but what does that have to really do with the overall storyline? It just feels completely unnecessary. And every time there's talks about all the stuff in Hawaii, I'm just all like, please stop with the whole Hawaiian spirits and all of this weird stuff. I'm just kind of watching the screen going, what? And then, like I said, the movie gets very disjointed with its storyline. It's like the movie does not really know what its main plot is all about. That's where Aloha really suffers. It's all like, okay, let's put this random scene and put it to another scene, this scene there, and it just feels like it was very out of order. I thought Bradley Cooper and Emma Stone, while they acted well together, I didn't really buy into the romance all that much. It's not really until the third act where I bought into the romance. Their chemistry together on screen just did not really click to me. And like I said, the movie just feels very off-putting. I could see where Cameron Crowe was trying to do with Aloha. I know there was passion into this movie. I felt the passion. I know his heart was in the right place with Aloha. But it just feels so scattered and so disjointed. And the movie does not really know what its main plot is all about. Because like I said, guys, that third act, in my opinion, it was fantastic it's not a bad movie by any means it's just a very messy movie for those reasons you guys aloha was a huge disappointment i really was looking forward to this movie aloha i don't think it was as bad as a lot of people said it is because while there's a lot i did not like there was enough in this movie for me to like so with all that being said i am going to give aloha two and a half out of four stars. It would have been two stars, but because of how great and beautiful the third act is, it does save the movie. So everyone in the comments down below, let me know, what did you think of Aloha? Did you really like the movie? Were you disappointed? Did you hate the movie? Let me know whatever opinion you have in the comments down below, because I like to hear different opinions from you guys. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.